Hi, it's Benita here from Benita Doodles and I'm just going to do this quick voiceover for you on how I did the dust on the walls using the pan pastels. The two colours I used from the pan pastels, which was from the portraits set, was Burnt Sienna Shade, that did all the dark areas and titanium white is what I did the highlights with. I am just using the um, firmer oval sponge that was supplied with the kit that I purchased. You can buy makeup sponges. I haven't tried sort of a similar version from the shops yet, but as I say, this comes from the kit, so I just used it. Um, I'm just patching in dark areas now, making sure that they're all blended in well because I didn't want lots of dust getting everywhere. Um, and I wasn't too worried about having the hard edges either. In fact, the hard edges help towards the contrast between the highlight and the shadows on the dust. So, um, as I say, all I did was make sure that there was no loose pastel anywhere, as I didn't want it to be in the picture, I didn't want it to go everywhere. Um, and you almost want to use the shape of the sponge to your advantage, and where it naturally curves across the edge, that's how we built up the, the highlights and the shadows. Um, I used a different colour there by the looks of it, but um, I can't remember it off the top of my head, so apologies about that. Um, it would have been in the under shades anyway, so it depends on the colour of dust that you want. It will depend on the colours that you need to put down. All you need is um, a dark, a medium and a light. And the light is what will give you the natural sort of highlights of where the uh, light hits the dust. Um, I'm just finishing off the legs here as we go through, so I'll speed this up a bit for you so we can get back to the pan pastel part. So I'm going back in and fill in the areas with the, the two darker colours that I have. Um, and as I say, you need some real dark patches in there as well as some real highlighted areas. So don't worry about smoothing everything over and making sure that it is um, completely covered because you'll lose the effect that you want to get. Um, I did debate whether or not to put in little bits of rubble and gravel and things like that, but because I had no path or ground or anything to add to um, sort of where he was running from or to, it, I didn't feel it necessary to add it in and um, because he was on such a smooth background I actually thought it would be quite nice not to have all that in there but you know feel free to add little specks of um, stone and gravel and things like that which would normally happen um, but don't blend out too much at this part just use the arch of your sponge to create the highlights and then um, once you do that you can start dabbing in some of the real shadow areas but you can see here um, I'm not doing a huge amount of blending, it is mainly just sort of dabbing it on. I just use brush there to make sure there's no loose bits. Don't want it everywhere. It doesn't matter how many times you build this up, that's entirely up to you. Um, it really depends on your reference as well if you're working from one. I wasn't working from a reference, so I had no idea actually whether or not this would work. Um, we needed to blend the legs in a bit more, so I do work in the legs as well again, just to make sure that everything blends in nicely, because I wasn't sure how high I was going to come up with the dust. Um, so uh, if only I could draw that fast, that would be nice and convenient, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm just filling those in, and I'll blend them out a bit more and then that way when the dust rises up it looks a lot more natural and we can get some shadow in down underneath the leg into the dust area which will make it look more natural. I won't brush this part because I think it's actually important to see how it's blended into the dust um, and you can see actually the colours of the dust are quite similar to the horse so in that sense I was quite lucky. Um, as I say, I'm pretty much freehanding the dust and not using a reference, so I literally had no idea whether or not 
it's going to be a failure but it worked quite well actually so um, and on the top left hand side and just behind him on the right where you can't see I've done very very light layers up there and I was very close to leaving it blank but I felt it needed a bit more atmosphere which is why I ended up having it in there start erasing on the um, pastel you know you can do this with um, pastel pencils just uh, great slice, sand, sand dean works really well to get pastels into a powder form and um, so it doesn't necessarily mean you can't do it if you don't have plant pastels just uh, make some powder with the pastels you have and the effect will be just as um, satisfying <laughs> um, so yeah have a go and um, just get loads of scrap paper and practice first that's what I did uh, and then you'll sort of get in the technique and once you get going with the dabbing and things like that it'll um, sort of all come together quite quickly so um, it probably took me about 12-15 minutes to finish this area but that was including finishing the horse's leg so depending on what you want to do it's actually quite a quick process so good luck on your project when you do it hopefully you found this of some help if you've got any questions pop them down below uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel as I still am uploading sort of little hints and tips like this as we go along and um, thank you very much for watching.